Members of the Intergovernmental Action Group Against Money Laundering in West Africa, GIABA, representatives of the National Intelligence Unit and heads of anti-graft agencies have gathered here in the last five days to brainstorm on the challenges and solutions to money laundering and terrorist financing in the West African region. The focus is to identify impediments to regional efforts to curb the menace of money laundering and terrorist financing in West Africa. Putting in place independent accountability mechanism for law enforcement agencies to ensure that they do what is right and can be seen to be doing what is right. Such a mechanism should have powers to conduct periodic inspections, receive and review periodic reports, and complaints from citizens. Lack of resources, capacity, and initiative to set up a criminal database, which will serve as a critical resource for investigations, as well as over-dependence on cash transactions, are additional impediments to curbing money laundering in the region. Digitalizing public sector processes and procedures with a view to ensuring efficiency in the service and taking other measures to limit human interaction in those processes and procedures, especially with respect to making payments, bidding, or participating in tenders. However, Giaba is making recommendations which members attending this workshop will need to implement in their various countries. Ensuring greater involvement of the media and civil societies in the procurement process, especially to monitor and report on project implementation and illegal or corrupt practices. As the workshop winds down, 25 key recommendations, including the urgent need for interagency collaboration, the need to digitalize public sector processes and to legislate for the protection of whistleblowers are made. Participants believe strongly that if implemented, these recommendations will enhance the regional fight against money laundering and terrorist financing.